Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart. My name is Rory. I take pickleball games off of YouTube and I pick apart the play on the court. Watching my videos will help make you a better pickleball player. In this video, an analytic statistical score sheet of exactly how points are scored in a game. I recently played in a tournament in Slidell, Louisiana. There were some players there who have a pickleball YouTube channel. The name of the channel is Go Pickleball. G-E-A-U-X, not G-O, that's a Louisiana thing. They recently posted a video of a system they use to track points in a game. I really like it. I think it can be an eye-opener. That's because players sometimes don't realize how well or how poorly they played in a game. This system shows a clear picture of what actually happened. I think you're going to like it, so give it a shot. One thing to mention, don't try to keep track if you're playing. Have someone watching you keep track or video your game. Go back and watch it and tally up how the points were scored. A big thank you to the YouTube channel Go Pickleball for allowing me to show you their system. Let's go. Here's the analytic sheet and here's how it works. At the top, you have the players. So right now, you have player A, A, B, B, C, C, and D, D. Player AA and BB are on one team, and player CC and DD are on another team. Now you'll see some numbers in green. Those represent winners. If player AA hits a winner, a green number goes up on his board. And if his team was serving, that means they got a point by hitting a winner. On the other hand, you have the red numbers. Those are unforced errors. And if the team that made the unforced errors was receiving the ball, they lost a point. And at the bottom, you have the score for each team. It may look a little complicated. It really is not. There are four things that can happen. So let me show you what those four things are. Here's the blank score sheet. Scenario number one, the team comprised of players AA and BB is serving. They serve the ball and player DD hits the return of serve into the net for an unforced error. That means that player DD gets a one in the red box. A one also goes in the red box for their team and the team of AA and BB get a point. Scenario number two, team AA and BB are serving. Player BB hits a winner scoring a point. So a point goes in the green box under BB, and it also goes into the scoring box. Now the score is two to nothing. Team AA and BB have gotten a point because their opponents made an unforced error, and they also hit a winner. Scenario number three, Team AA and BB are serving. Player AA makes an unforced error. The number one goes into the red box under player AA's name. However, it does not go in the red box on the team score because the team was serving and they did not lose a point, even though they did make an unforced error. Scenario number four, team AA and BB is serving. Player CC hits a winner and it is tallied under her name in the green box. However, they do not get a point because team AA and BB was serving. And of course, you cannot score a point unless you are serving. At this point, the score is two to nothing in favor of the AABB team. Player CC did hit a winner, but she didn't score a point because her opponents were serving when she hit the winner. Also, player AA made an unforced error, but team CC and DD did not get the point because team AA and BB were serving when the unforced error occurred. Again, it may seem a little complicated, but you will get a clear picture as I show you a game in which the analytical score sheet is tallied after each point. And it turns out to be a real eye-opener, so check it out. So we have Jody and Tony taking on Maddie and Kaylin. I'm not going to focus so much in on the play on the court. Instead, I'm going to focus on the analytic scorecard. Here's the first serve. Okay, that was an unforced error, and that unforced error was made by Kaylin. As you can see in the score sheet, there is a one in the red box for Kaylin. However, no point was earned by Jody and Tony because Maddie and Kaylin were serving. 
And there's an unforced error by Maddie, the worst unforced error a player can possibly make because they simply gave Jody and Tony a free point. She just could not get the return to serve back into the court. So that means that Jody and Tony now have one point. Maddie has a one in the red box under her name. And the team of Maddie and Kaylin have a one in the red box of their team score. Good point there so far. <laughs> Somehow Tony missed that shot. So that's an unforced error. As you can see, there is now a one in Tony's red box. However, Maddie and Kalen did not score because Jody and Tony were serving. Good shot. Oh, and there's a winner hit by Maddie. So it goes into the green box under her name. Unfortunately, they didn't score a point because Jody and Tony were serving. Now here's a chance for Maddie and Kalen to make some points. Okay, there's an unforced error by Kalen. He has now uh, hit two unforced errors. And they are going to give Maddie an unforced error on that shot. That's kind of tough, but that's how it is scored. And I think that ball landed inside the court. So that is a winner by Jody. That is his second winner, as you can see, in the green box underneath his name. And they just scored a point. So the score is now two to nothing. Jody and Tony have a one point because of that winner right there. They also have a point because Maddie and Kaylin made an unforced error. Angela. 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 Hi, Angela. There's an unforced error. That one right there was made by Tony. That is his second unforced error. There's another unforced error, that time by Maddie. That is her second unforced error. And as you can see, Jody and Tony have now scored two points off of two unforced errors made by Maddie, plus they hit a winner. There's another unforced error, that time by Kalen. He now has three unforced errors, and that one just cost his team a point. And there is yet another unforced error by Maddie. Five nothing now. That ball is out of the court, and that is another unforced error. As you can see what's happening here, Jody and Tony have five points. Four of those points were pretty much given to them because Maddie and Kalen have made four unforced errors when Joni and Tony were serving. A quick timeout to tell you this. I've started a new business venture. I've opened an online store featuring the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. You can find my store, Pickleball Printables, at pickleballprintables.com or simply click the link below in the description of the video. My store features a large selection of men and women's t-shirts, four styles to choose from, cotton, performance, moisture wicking, and v-neck, ceramic coffee mugs, black or white, either 15 ounce or 11 ounce mugs, baseball caps featuring the imprint on a leather patch, 20 ounce stainless steel tumblers, a large 17 by 18 inch tote bag to carry all of your pickleball items, and Kiss Cut Stickers, three sizes to choose from to stick anywhere you want to stick. I've made sure my designs are like no other designs out there. They are clean, cool, clever, uncluttered, and sometimes humorous. I think you're going to love them. Right now, get 10% off your first order by using the coupon code YouTube when you check out. Dink in style with the coolest pickleball swag on the planet at pickleballprintables.com. Nice, fast hands there. And that is a winner hit by Kalen. And they scored a point right there. There's another unforced error. 
Oh, that's too high. Good defense. Unforced error. Unforced error. Unforced error. I know I keep saying that, but this game is really, really sloppy. I don't know if he called that a winner. Yes, they did call that a winner. So let's take a look at the scorecard. A little overview here. Jody and Tony have six points. They have hit two winners, but they have also received four points because of four unforced errors made by Maddie and Kalen. Maddie and Kalen have three points. They have hit one winner and received two points because Jody and Tony made unforced errors when Maddie and Kalen were serving. <laughs> unforced error by Jody. Unforced error. It's just, uh, again, very, very sloppy play here. And that right there was a winner because the ball was just hit too high in the air. Another unforced error. Yet another. And there's a ball that won out of the court, and that is another one. So take a look right now, and you'll see that already in this game, with the score 7-3, to three, Maddie and Kalen have made 10 unforced errors, and Jody and Tony have made 9. Cannot move up in the court. Was able to do it that time. And they're going to call that an unforced error. So now the unforced errors are 10 to 10, as opposed to a total of, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 winners. 20 unforced errors, 6 winners. That's a really poor ratio. And there's a winner right there. All right, score is now seven to six. And he hits that ball out of the court. That's just not a good shot. That is another unforced error. And that's a winner for Maddie. Nope. That's a winner for Tony because the ball was popped up. They probably should have some type of scoring metric in there for balls that are just put in a player's put-away zone, making it very easy for the other team to hit a winner. Eight to seven now. And I'm not sure what level this play is at, but it, there sure are a large number of unforced errors. I mean, there's... Just, I don't think this is 3.5 play. Most 3.5 players do not make this many unforced errors. And there's yet another one. And the game is just about over. And I'm going to go over and review the final tally as soon as it ends so don't go anywhere you're really going to want to see this goodbye see that counts as a winner right there i don't think i would count that as a winner because it was such a poor shot by kaylin again i think there probably should be another category that accounts for lobs that are hit like that that are just so easy to put away i mean that's a huge mistake by kaylin yet Jody or Tony got a winner for that shot right there. Ball out of the court. 10 to 10. 
So if you're watching this game and you see the score is 10 to 10, you're probably thinking, man, this is a very exciting game. Look at the score. It's 10 to 10. It may be exciting, but it most certainly is not a well-played game. I know I'm being kind of critical here, but all you have to do is look at the player analytics. So let's go ahead and take a look at this right here. And it just jumps out at you. Anytime you're playing a game to 11, if a team combines to make double digit unforced errors, it's really not a good thing. But look at this. Tony alone made double digit unforced errors. 10. Jody made eight. Their team combined to make 18 unforced errors. Maddie and Kaylin. Maddie made nine. Kaylin made six for a total of 15. So the two teams combined in a game to 11 made 33 unforced errors. And I promise you this, if you asked each of these players how many unforced errors they made, I can promise you they would probably tell you they made maybe half as many as they actually made. Of course, it also makes a big difference as to when the unforced errors and winners are hit. Take a look at Jody and Tony. They made a total of 18 unforced errors. However, they only made nine unforced errors when Maddie and Kaylin were serving, so it cost them nine points. On the other hand, Jody and Tony hit nine winners. Five of those nine were hit when they were serving, so they did get five points off of winners, even though they hit nine. So how did Jody and Tony get to 12 points? Well, if you look under their score, you see the number five. Those are the winners that they hit while they were serving, and they got five points for doing so. Now go look at Maddie and Kaylin. Look at their red number under team. It is seven. That means that when Jody and Tony were serving, Maddie and Kaylin made seven unforced errors. So five plus seven is 12. The same goes for Maddie and Kaylin. They got nine of their points because Jody and Tony made nine unforced errors when Maddie and Kaylin were serving. They only got one point by hitting a winner when they were serving. So out of the 10 points that Maddie and Kaylin got, nine of them were pretty much unearned. They were gifts by Jody and Tony because they made nine unforced errors. Again, this is eye-opening to me. It's probably eye-opening to all of the players. I said it once. I'll say it again. I can promise you there is no way if you asked any of these players how many unforced errors were made in this game, they would say nowhere near 33. And when they find out that's how many unforced errors were made, they are going to be shocked. So there you have it. What can these players take away from looking at the analytical statistics of this game? Well, it's quite clear. All four players need to clean up their play. It's inexcusable to make as many unforced errors as they made. And they probably would not have realized how many unforced errors they made if this score sheet wasn't used. So give Go Pickleball's score sheet a shot it may open up your eyes to exactly how you score points in a game. And leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about it. That's it from Pickleball Pick Apart. I really hope you learned something from watching this video. And if you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And don't forget to check out my online pickleball store, Pickleball Printables, where you will find the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. This is Rory saying, as always, thanks for watching and see you on the court.